All right, y'all, it is 2.05 in the morning, a.m. Just made it to the gym, but this is the reason I need to have my own home gym. There's two cars here. What's the problem with that? That's too, too many, bro. But no, they're not gonna mess up my workout. No, they're going to try. Yes, how do I know? I've been dealing with this for nine years, right? So uh, they're not gonna mess up my workout. I'm going in the gym. And like I said, deadlifts are on the front burner. I'm going to deadlift. I just took my pre-workout. I got my water right here. I got my belt right here. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. Um, I usually use my belt at a certain point. For those who lift and for those who understand, you understand. If it don't apply, let it fly. That belt does not save you from bad form, by the way. But all that say that, all to say this. We got 41 days into New Year's. 41 days into New Year's. That's about... I think that's about six weeks a little on five weeks and you might say oh might as well wait that's not that far from now dude you know what you can do in five weeks do you know the progress you can make in five weeks now building muscle well as a newbie yeah especially if you got good genetics you can build some muscle in five weeks but as in losing fat building muscle getting stronger you might not make that much progress between there and now but that's still some progress but the progress that you can make a good amount of is knowledge all right i've been making new year's videos for three months now i think this year last year i did it for like four months before new year's and the year before that i did it then too dog why wait all right the longer you wait the less experience you did you're holding off your experience all right you're not gonna go in there january 1st already knowing everything you need to know all right you're not gonna go in there january 1st and then learn everything you need to know and be an expert january 3rd why am i saying that because everybody does that they oh, don't you started a couple days ago get out my man dog let me i'm gonna go in the gym before i start rambling 41 days into new year's stop waiting all right, y'all, I'm pretty much warming up still. Um, this is four plates on each side, and the bar is 45 pounds, so that's 45 pounds. All right, y'all, classic rep and time fitness style, all right? Um, this is after the lift, after the workout or whatever. I tried to film something, too, on the way out. Um, there was a guy trying to get in the gym. Um, of course, this is at the hour, so the gym is locked, so you have to have a membership and be able to key in um into the gym you can't just go in of course it's a business it's not gonna just be unlocked like that would you have your business unlocked all right so um because people be asking questions like that who oh, won't do that like dude people purposely don't understand stuff that's why i be get so frustrated man that's another reason why i don't talk a lot but when you're in a gym and you're lifting heavy weights um you can't just hold a conversation and lift those weights you know what i'm saying um, a lot of times you might see videos of people lifting heavy weights and, and talking and laughing and stuff like that. But that's a video. They have to do that to make the video entertaining. I will not do my videos like that. I'm going to show you the real. And, um, hey, man, don't be so gullible, all right? Like, a lot of these guys, like the world-class lifters and stuff like that, the weights that I'm lifting is nothing compared to, you know, their maxes. So if they're lifting the weights that I'm lifting and they're laughing and talking, it's cool because that's nothing to them. You know, I'm not I'm not a million pounds and, and taking roids and all that stuff. So I'm natural. So at the end of the day, um, I got to stay in my lane. If you're a beginner who's just starting on New Year's or, or, or waiting into New Year's or you just started whenever, you start today. Don't think in three days you're going to be you know, on my level, no, you're not, it's going to take years, you know what I'm saying, to truly be able to do it, which brings me to another point, um, gripping and ripping, all right, a lot of people think that, okay, you had it, it came off the ground, all you had to do is stand up with it, yes, I could have had it, easy, y'all seen me do it last week, that same weight that I just felt at this week, I, I'm not, do, do, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> not editing that out, oh, hey, the, ah, the weight that you see me fail at today, I did it last week and it wasn't that difficult. And I felt like I had something in the tank. Why couldn't I do it today? Did I get weaker? No, it was my technique was breaking down, all right? Um, as you see throughout the whole session, 
I was um, different feet placements and different. I was just out of whack. You know, it wasn't that the strength wasn't there. It's just that if I would have picked it up, I probably would have been the last time I ever deadlifted in my life. So, you know, that is not worth it. All right. It ain't just go for it, go for it, go for it. It ain't just go, 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 go. No, you got to you gotta analyze what you're doing. You got to, you know, if it's not, the deadlift is, to me, out of the main three power lift, out of the three power lifting lifts, the deadlift, the squat, and the bench press. Most people will argue with a good point that the deadlift is the most dangerous. But I think it's the most safe. Why? Because if I'm squatting, the weight is actually on my body. If I'm benching, the weight is actually on my body. I bring it down to my chest. I got to get it back up. If I'm deadlifting, if I bail out on the on the rep, I could leave it on the floor. You see what I'm saying? I don't have to lift it. It's not actually on my body. It's on the floor. You see what I'm saying? Yes, I'm using my whole body to lift it. Where it's a compound movement. That's not what I'm saying. You're talking about. For those who are saying that, you're talking about completing the lift. I'm talking about bailing out. Sometimes you have to bail out. Straight up. You know, uh, my goal is to do, I got 41 days left. My goal is to do 500 pounds on the deadlift before New Year's. If I don't reach it, um, it's, it shouldn't be that hard. I did 475. Not today. Last week I did 475. All right. So for 85, for 95, so 25 more pounds. Why did I have to count that on my fingers? I don't care. I'm not editing that out either. That's 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 ridiculous. So I need 25 more pounds. The only thing that could hold me back, because my form and technique is getting better every time. I'm noticing um, cues and things like that. Like I was uh, as I was going down. I, I hope I remember to say this and i hope i say it without stumbling my words like i am bumbling and mumbling um i was losing um pressure i was losing uh tightness tension i was losing tension um when i went to grab the bar with my right hand almost every time when i got to a heavier lift and that loss of tension i got it back when i grabbed the bar and you pull the slack out the bar right but um that little bit of distracting i'm i'm distracting myself you see what i'm saying that's another reason why i say that people if i could distract myself with one half of a second of of of, of a mistake in my own form in my own technique my own setup my own approach to the bar just imagine how bad it is if somebody's right there trying to hold a conversation with me while i'm lifting that heavy weight that's for those who don't understand what i be talking about you know what I'm saying? You need to, under, if you want to get into doing this, you need to understand that. You know? Because the guys that's in there talking, they ain't lifting. Oh, I paused my headphones, right? Because at the end of my lifting, after I got done, there was already people in there and they was already talking. I knew they was talking about me or whatever. But I paused my headphones and I overheard the dude talk about, man, he failed at his lift. And I told him, like, I can't tell him, like, bro, I never seen you deadlift ever. Not once. I don't even know if you could do half of that weight. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know. I, don't, I, don't, I really, it, It'd be people that when you fail, I didn't fail because I didn't have the strength. I failed because my technique was breaking down. All right. So it'd be people who can't even deadlift or deadlift half that that will try to clown you for failing. It don't matter where you fail at. You could be a thousand pound deadlifter. If you fail at a thousand pounds where nobody in my gym can even do half of that. The weight that I just did right there wasn't even half of that. There's only probably 10 people in the world that could do a thousand pounds on a deadlift and they're juice and they're not natural and they weigh triple my body weight. So, uh, yo, pound for pound and natural status, I'm still better than them. But I'm just saying like, oh, you you beg a different? I right, I mean, y'all know lifting. But, uh, <laughs> yo, uh, what I'm trying to say is this, man. It'd be people who can't even deadlift at all. Talk about your deadlift when you fail. It doesn't matter where you fail at. All right. Um, also, you can tell that I didn't fail for, with strength because I didn't even pull it. I didn't even pull it hard. I got down, I grabbed it, and I was like, uh, nah, that ain't, that ain't it. You know what I'm saying? If your butt ain't right, you can tear your sci sciatic nerve. If your arms ain't right, especially if you're using mixed grip, which I was, if your arms ain't right, you could tear your bicep. 
You could tear your lower back. Like some of those lifts, that 455 didn't look right. Didn't even feel right. I used too much back on that. But uh, a lot of people think that you shouldn't use back at all. There's a lot of things you need to learn. The deadlift is a compound movement. You do use your back. It's not a squat from the ground. Now, if you're using all back, if you're cat backing, then yes, that's terrible. You're about to tear your back up. But the back is involved. Everything's in involved on the deadlift. Everything. When you lift a heavy lift, you feel every muscle in your body, even in your head. <laughs> Straight up. And also, some of those lifts, I think it was the 455, one of them, because I'm working on my bar speed. I'm working on getting my bar speed back. I feel like my technique is 80% there. I still got things to tweak. But my technique is 80% where it used to be. But my bar speed is way too slow so i've been working on my bar speed a little bit um that also will add, help add pounds to the bar um so I'm working on my bar speed but the problem with that is you can get dizzy a lot of people pass out because of that when they lift too heavy a lot of people make the mistake of celebrating too hard my last time when i did the 455 i did that a little bit but there's plenty of times i've seen videos of, i've never done it I've almost passed out a few times. Um, hey, a lot of things come with the game. I'm just explaining things to people who never done this or who are getting into this. Like women, women usually, uh, there's a lot of women who pee. I know anybody who's been watching lifting videos, women usually pee when they lift heavy <laughs> deadlifts. All right, not all of them, but some of them. The ones that's really, really pushing themselves, a lot of those women, they pee, not purposely, but they pee when they deadlift. I don't know if there's any guys that do that, but I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. But I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of things that if you never lift heavy weights, you don't know the feeling of none of this stuff. So you, I ain't dissing you. I'm just saying you have to learn. If you're going to learn, take baby steps. Don't rush it. Please, you will get injured, all right? There ain't nothing to play with, all right? That was, what, 475 that I failed at? 455 went up easy. That was only 20 more pounds. I was getting into my own head too much. Uh, let me leave this video alone right now. Comment, like, subscribe, share. Holler back at your boy because I need to save some room. Uh, my memory is kind of running out. And I need to piece this video together. It takes a lot of memory, especially when you got thousands of videos. People be like, oh, what kind of phone you got? This is a Galaxy uh, Ultra S20. Um, whatever. Um, but uh, good memory on it. But it, when you're a YouTuber, if you're not a YouTuber, you probably don't know. You ain't got a million videos on your, on your phone that you scared to lose because you want to use this again. Yo, it's a lot of videos. Hey, let me shut up because I'm... Memory is full, all right? <laughs> your memory, if you, if you don't even use your camera, a lot of people get the best phones. Oh, this one got the best camera and don't never even use the camera. What the heck? You spend $9 billion on a phone because the camera was good. You don't even use don't make no start make hey man people need to start making sense man all i wonder what i'm coming like scott share how to work at your boy save 20 percent on javi coffee watch my new year's playlist and then um top 10 misconceptions about weight loss by rapid time fitness just to recommend some of my stuff um oh also i'm losing weight all right hey i'm getting shredded man my abs are popping right now i'm gonna do a physique update soon